right. Um, yeah, this is uh new patron Troy sent me this working class man, which I actually said that about Cold Chisel that they're very they're a working class band, especially by a UK definition. Um, but then yeah. I think a couple of people said about this track, saying, yeah, you should check this out for the Working Class Man um, link. But yeah, Jimmy Barnes, Working Class Man. Let's go. Uh, yeah, because my dad watches my videos and he come across him and said, Jesus, that was some this Jimmy Barnes, he's like, that's a name from his past. Like, he said he's Australian, isn't he? And um, said, sort of come around in the same kind of time as ACDC, what have you. Um, but he said, because people said they weren't that big over it, but he said they, my dad said they was. Especially Jimmy Barnes, they said they may not have been mainstream big, but and I I knew that it's the same as um, I know Cleveland in America is very working class proud. I mean our whole country is, but um, uh, it's the same as Rush. We all think it's Working Man, isn't it? That's their song, Working Man. But that's the name. And I remember hearing that and thinking, any song like that explodes here. Like, this song, like, I don't understand why this song wouldn't have been huge here. Is that Steve Irwin? There. <laughs> well, looks like him. Well, he loves a little woman. Someday he'll make his wife. Saving all the overtime for the one love of his life. He ain't worried. Hmm. 
Ostrovy. So I'm guessing this is after Cold Chisel as well. Um, oh, look who's awake. You're going to fall off, girl. Put your bum on. But yeah, um, I'm guessing this is after Cold Chisel because also, even the music sounds a bit more modernised. It sounded more 80s than what I'd say Cold Chisel does. Even though Cold Chisel has that kind of... Even like Bow River, which is definitely a rock and roll track. But with... Um, sleeping baby. Yeah, with... Um, this was definitely seen more 80s. The drumming. Like you even hear it in Queen in the 80s that the drumming sounds... It's, I think the biggest indicator of 80s is the drum the drum sound, where it stops sounding. It sounds more like a produced drum beat, um, even if on top of everything else it doesn't. But, um, yeah, you got that with Roger Taylor. He tailored his drumming to be more suitable for the, uh, for the 80s thing. But, yeah. I don't understand why this song wasn't huge. It probably was huge here. Anything working class. It's why, like I said before, it's why John Lennon said, a working class hero is something to be. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Definitely we're going to keep on. I've got a few requests of... I've got some Ian Moss... Some Jimmy Barnes and some more Cold Chisel from different from various people. Like I'm surprised as well for some. Like I don't know. I have never heard of these any of them. Not Jimmy Barnes. Not Cold Chisel. None of them. But they are huge. In fact, they probably have become my most viewed videos. Some of them like instantly. Um, so it's definitely a, a huge following for this band but then that's what my dad said my dad said that they, they were more like the kind of a bit like how I hear people talk over in America of Oasis like over here Oasis is as mainstream as you can get their songs are played non-stop they are gods over here but over there it's like kind of seen as or at least this is the impression I've got it's almost kind of Cool and underground oasis are an underground kind of thing where un the underground likes and respects them, but the mainstream never really got them. Which I think largely is because they couldn't understand what on earth Liam and Noel were saying when they was pissed, uh, drunk. I mean, but um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I think this band is, um, well, not this band, but the whole band. They all kind of, I put them under the Cold Chisel banner, to be honest. But um, even these, we did his song with Tina Turner. Well, not his song, her song, but that was so fire. But this as well had that kind of, like Bow River has that kind of vibe where it's, it's there's a pace to it. There's a, the tempo makes you feel almost like you're running. It's this like kind of, yeah, like when Freebird kicks in. That's what I think. Bow River is their Freebird. Um, but yeah, this was a tune. 
this was a tune and he's definitely um got the the voice to 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 compete in that 80s era of the tina turners and prince yeah but yeah that's the reaction sweet